Several years ago, the people of Adansi were defeated in a war by the people of Dentura. This led to the enslavement of the Adansi people as they would go and serve at Dentura once every month, which was Akweside. Dentura originates in the central region of Ghana with Dunkau as their capital. The Dentura treated the Adansis with violence amidst their enslavement. Adansi was made up of various towns and 11 among these towns chose to be independent so they could come together and prepare or protect themselves from war. Some of these towns were Mampon, Kwamai, Naukumase, Kokufu, Ofenso, Asumenya, Bekwai, Insuta, Ejoso, among others. They presented their thoughts before Okonfu Anoche, the then most powerful Okonfu. After some oracular consultations, Okonfu Anoche directed the chiefs of these various towns to submit the Akunyatuntum, in other words, their black chair. The Akunyatuntum was the sign of a sovereign power kept by chiefs at that time. Also, he ordered them to cut their nails and hairs. After a while of incantation, Okonfu Anoche commanded Sikedra from the sky. Sikedra is also known as the Golden Stool. Among the various chiefs of the 11 towns, Sikedra landed on the lap of Nana Osei Tutu, the then chief of Kwamai, Naokumase. Okonfu Anochi declared Nana Osei Tutu as paramount among the other chiefs and incited them to swear an oath with a sword before Nana Osei Tutu. Nana Osei Tutu was also instructed to take an oath before Sikedra to protect it at all times by any means. Asa Asa in Chi means war, and the purpose of the confederation was because of war. This is how we got the name Asante for. Asa, Asa Enti for. Therefore, Nana Osei Tutu became Asa Enti for Hene, meaning the king of Asantes. Okonfo Anochi explained to the chiefs how Sikedra was very important because it had become the spirit and soul of Asante Mai. Okonfu Anoche ordered the chiefs to put together their Akunyatuntum in a pit. He then bent the nails and hairs they had cut and put the remains in a palm wine for them to drink. Drinking of the palm wine by the chiefs represented a covenant of unity. Okonfu Anoche used the remaining palm wine to pour libation on the Akunyatuntum they had put in the pit. He planted a sword between the Inkunyatuntun and the pit was covered afterwards, leaving the handle of the sword on the surface. Okonfu Anochi told the chiefs that the planted sword was the strength and sign of their unity, and a sentiman can never be defeated by mankind, but only the Almighty God can. This explains Ajinyame, meaning only God. So this, this is the Okonfu Anochi sword, the sword of strength and unity. Of Asante Mai. Thank you, Mesdames.